What's your relationship with I? Is that it centered in the body? That I okay. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, but it definitely um, is based in the body. In the body, and it feels like my body, my... Not even, I I would say, like, I am the body. <laughs> like, it's not even just my body, but it's also... Mostly. Okay. So let's let's look quick let's let's have a look and see let's have a little inquiry around I am the body. Yeah. So there is an awareness of your body, yes? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yes. So you can be aware of the sensations of the body. Mm-hmm. And you can be aware of the physical manifestation of the body. Mm-hmm. So, are you the awareness? Uh-huh. Or are you the body? So aware, so you're the awareness. Mm-hmm. It feels like, and it feels like you're the body. Yeah. Okay. So let's go look at the wall in front of you, in the room. Are you are you aware of the physical manifestation of the wall? Yeah. Yeah. And you're aware of what the wall is doing. It's supporting the house. It's creating a block. It's It can be aware of the story of the wall, right? Yeah. Are you the awareness or are you the wall? I'm the awareness. You're the awareness. How do you know that? Because I don't feel like I'm the wall. <laughs> because you're not having a physical sensation of wall? Mm-hmm. Right. So... Without the physical sensation of wall, you can discern very quickly that you're the awareness. Yes. Are you both the wall and the awareness? No. No. Mm -hmm. So, are you aware, let's just take a second for right now, can you be aware of the physical sensation of air touching your skin? Mm-hmm. You can feel that sensations of air on your skin. Are you aware of the air in the room? Yes. Yeah. Are you the air or are you the awareness? The awareness. Are you, could you be both the awareness and the air? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know means no. <laughs> no, you're not the air. You're the awareness. Is what you're sure of. Is what I'm hearing. Mm-hmm. Okay, can you be aware of you're breathing right now? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Are you the awareness or are you the breathing? The awareness. You're the awareness. Can you be aware of the sensation in your hand right now? Yeah. Can you feel that that energy, that energetic tingling. Mm -hmm. Are you the awareness or are you the sensation? Okay. So the sensations that you're aware of, you are not. 
Is that what I'm hearing you say? Yes. Yes. But you are the awareness of the sensations. Yes. So are you aware of the body? Yes. Are you the body? Hmm. There's a habit, huh? There's a deep habit. Yeah, there is. To identify. But can you know for sure you are the body? In the same way you know for sure you're the awareness? No. No. Because the habit is so deep, we can just leave it at that piece. Mm-hmm. We don't have to crack the whole piece. We can just loosen up the assumed identity. Awareness very quickly identifies. Mm-hmm. It's, yeah. It happens with thoughts all the time and emotions. You can be aware of anger. And in a moment, believe you are anger. When I say it so directly, you can see Anger's just moving. But in that moment that you're experiencing it, you can believe and be identified. And there's even more of that story that can be identified into it, right? That that they hit that they they were texting and driving and they hit my car. And now my car is totaled and they don't have insurance and I am this truth. This is true. This is I am this experience. It's a natural habit of awareness to identify. So we bring inquiry there to check it. And we can notice that we can be aware. And in that, there's two things. There's awareness and a subject, the body, a sensation, the sensation of breathing, or a physical manifestation, my hand. But all we can know for sure is that we are the awareness. Can you see that? Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's a little doubt there. <laughs> <laughs> My feeling right now is that little doubt is enough. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that felt like a little seed plant. <laughs> yeah. It's just, sometimes we go. Sometimes it's good to go gentle. Mm -hmm. through these deep habitual patterns. You know, like a bone that had habitually grown in the wrong place. You sort of gently Mm -hmm. bringing it back. Yeah. And you can be with that. You can notice Mm -hmm. the sensations of the body and recognize the obviousness that you are aware but you are not breathing. Mm. That you are aware of 
sensation. But you are not sensation. And it's these thought lines arising that you are the awareness of. But you are not what they are identifying as. The thought can arise that my name is But are you the name? Or are you the awareness of the name? Awareness. Yes. The thought can arise that says, I am nearly 40. 40. <laughs> 42, 41? I'm nearly 40. I'm still 40. I So the thought can arise, I am still 40. Mm-hmm. Are you the awareness? Mm-hmm. Yeah. The thought can arise, I have two sisters. And you are the awareness of this story of a name, an age, 40, two sisters. But you can see that you are the awareness of those markers. Mm-hmm of that story. What you know for sure is that you are the awareness. And maybe you can feel the habit to identify with those markers. Those communal thoughts, a whole society thinks. These are the words we introduce ourselves into our community with Mm -hmm. to help the community identify with this thought line. If you hold up your hand and look at your hand, Mm -hmm. you can see the manifestation of hand. Yes. yes. You can be aware of a thought that could arise that says, this hand is 40. <laughs> <laughs> you can see, right? Mm-hmm. The gaps of truth in there. It's just a hand. Right. The story that it's 40 is the belief. Mm -hmm. And you are aware of the belief, the thought, the manifestation of hand. Yes? Mm -hmm. And the when we don't inquire or the or the way it just sort of moves is uh, is awareness identifies naturally for instance with those beliefs this hand is 40 it can be totally unquestioned mm-hmm. and then when we look at the hand, we can project that story. Mm-hmm. We can uh, begin to look for lines, small lines. <laughs> we can begin to look for freckles. 
we can begin to shape our perception of the hand to mirror that belief. But the only thing we know for sure is that we are the awareness. And it can be so scary for a mind and stories to notice these gaps. But the direct experience is so free, it's so much freedom to hold up the hand and recognize there's a manifest hand. That's it. And it's incredibly, the experience is very free to separate it from the belief, the thought, this is a 40-year-old hand. Mm -hmm. So we can calm the fear by remembering the direct sensation is liberation. So there's the root of the eye thoughts. (laughs) (laughs) It's a movement. Yeah. It's a movement. an effortlessness about awareness. You can stop, say, in a meditation, stop every piece of movement and become the most effortless version of yourself. And what will remain is awareness. Mm Mm-hmm. Because that's what you are. Which is why it's effortless. The rest is a very innate, natural process of identifying. Mm-hmm. Just to have them. Say that again. It's just a habit of me. Yes. It's just habitual. (laughs) And there's not a problem with it. We don't have to stop it. No, No, it's just... But it's beautiful to inquire Mm -hmm. about the assumption that it's true. Or just to inquire about what it really is. Yeah. What's really going on? Mm hmm. Because it can feel like bondage. <laughs> yes. Yeah. When we are unaware. Isn't it fun? <laughs> <laughs> it is. <laughs> it is. It's fun to have someone walk with you. And the inquiry would yeah. be so fun. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, exactly. Provided they're clear. <laughs> <laughs> you just walk further in distortion. <laughs> right. Yeah. No kidding. Yeah. No, that definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Mm hmm. Sometimes <laughs> inquiry and spiritual practice, it's not that I project this, that you carry the story around, but sometimes it can feel so heavy <laughs> yeah. and onerous. And mm-hmm. <laughs> it's lovely it's, to remember yeah. it's fun. Also yeah. for the fear. Yeah. But it's fun. And the direct yeah. sensation is liberation and freedom. Yeah. Yeah. It helps us to 
because there's a gravitational force around those habits, and fear yes. can well, it's part like of when that you're gravitational in, force. Like when you're in a pool and you start walking around the the, the circumference of it, the periphery of it. Um, you know, just making a whirlpool, I guess. But yeah, that's. Mm-hmm. Which is step out. <laughs> to step out of that gravitational yeah, force, because fear can feel. can keep you very deep into it. Mm-hmm. The the thing that can step out is play. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, catch this ball. <gasps> Fun, right? <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. So, just wanting yeah. to. Activate, make active in your system that sense of yeah. fun, that sense of freedom. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Tools. Tools for fear. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> now make love. <laughs> now have sex. Okay. <laughs> now have your 40th birthday or 41st okay. birthday. You know, they're stories. Yeah. yeah. Now play with graying yeah. hair. Yeah. That is just a product of communal belief system. Yeah. Yeah, big time. <laughs> <laughs> Is it good? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah.